What up, players? Welcome back to the GSL playthrough of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Danger Mario setting. It's your boy, CD Run 1019, and we're ready to begin the prologue to Chapter 2. So we're back in Paddleburg. Koops and Koopley are having a little chat saying that Koops is going to leave and continue his journey with Mario, and then we'll come back. Koopy says she'll be waiting, and the mayor says that uh, you can come home anytime. The village is always your home. <coughs> Alright, Goobella reminds us that the bearer of the map shall uh, go to Thousand Year Door. When when this is done, the star shall guide the crystal light, yada yada yada. Uh, which basically means if uh, we find the crystal star, we gotta go back to Thousand Year Door to find the next one. <clears throat> Alright, so we are off. So basically we take the long, uh, uh, not so long, but we take the somewhat lengthy journey. Whoop. Ah, right, so the email from Princess Peach has come in. <coughs> She says, my dearest Mario, Slayer, hope I sent this, uh, hope this reaches you. Being held against her will, we don't know, but she's okay. Uh, they seem to be after the map. They're looking for the crystal stars. Don't know what they're planning, but it's not good. Grab the crystal stars before they do. They already know you have the map, and don't worry about her. Alright, back to adventure. <clears throat> oh yeah, so we gotta... Forgot to take off the um forgot to take off the effects of the attack effects badge. So we'll do this. probably knows that we're making significantly less uh, star points, so this is where uh, attacking things is kind of just going to become useless. Whoops! But we're still making some. Any experience is good experience. If I don't run into them, I'm not gonna waste my time. Some of them I'll fight, uh, just because it's worth it. Well, or maybe. pipe area. So later on we're gonna have to come back to uh, to uh, Hooktail Castle. Small number of things. But uh, that's chapters and chapters away. So we're back in Rogueport Sewer. 
And we're gonna head to the Thousand Year Door. Uh, let's turn that badge off. Don't need that on anymore. That's better. Into the thousand into the chamber of the thousand year door and let's present the next crystal star or the, let's present the first crystal star and get the location of the new one Tree out of nowhere, the next star appears to be north of Rogueport. Alright, we don't know where it is, so we're gonna go check on Professor Franklin and see if he has any information for us. Frankly tells us that the next star's in Bodley Woods, and that we can get there with the help of creatures called punies. There's one with the pipe to the great trees in the bottom of the uh, Roport sewers, and there's a puny down there that can help us. Also mentioned that uh, we got a letter from Princess Peach. We don't, don't know where she is, but they know they're looking for the treasure. <coughs> Alright, and it's time to head for Bodley Woods. Low on items or health, drop by the shop and in. Uh, we're feeling okay, so we're not going to do that, but we will, however. Oh, look, there's Luigi. Luigi's, uh, well, we don't really particularly want to hear what's going on. He's telling us that he's on an adventure in the Waffle Kingdom. Don't have time for that. We're going to go in here, though, and talk to Merlin real quick. And, um, we're going to upgrade our partners here. <clears throat> Uh, we got enough to partner to uh, charge up Goombella and Coop, so we're gonna do just. Well, actually, I take that back. It takes three shine sprites to do one upgrade. So we're gonna upgrade Goombella. That multi box she has is actually quite useful, so we're gonna do that first. Alright, Goombella's upgraded. Uh, let's see. We are full on items, we're good on health, so let's just get right to it. <coughs> we go over here and we'll find... There's Punio. So we're gonna go through here and see what Punio's up to. Punio, come back. We just want to be friends. He's gonna come to eat you. Of course not. 
So this is one of the this is Punio, one of the creatures from Pogley Woods. He thinks we're working for the X-Nots, but we're not. Just tell us what's going on. Well, the gang of bad guys called the X-Nots, they came to the great tree, started tearing it apart. <clears throat> They'd say something about the crystal star, but the punies don't know anything about that. If we help, if we help drive out uh, the X-Dots from the tree, they'll help us find the crystal star. Oh, yeah. All right, Puny says he'll take us. Or Punio says he'll take us to the great tree. He'll go through the wall here and activate a switch. And that should get us to the other side of this wall. And here we are. Alright, time to take the pipe to the <clears throat> to uh, the Great Woods. Normally I'd stop it here, but we've only been going for 10 minutes and we can go a little longer, so why not? It's time to begin Chapter 2. The Great Bogley Tree. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna check over here first. Nope, nothing to see there. Okay. Let's save, why not? <clears throat> and we come across the three shadow sirens. I'm going over the plan. I'm talking, Vivian found this little necklace. Vivian to take out the sketch, but she doesn't have the sketch. Marilyn said it was too important, so she should take it. Or, I'm sorry, I... Beldum. Beldum's the one in the blue, and Marilyn notices us, but Beldum... Beldum doesn't recognize that it's us. Her, so she takes the necklace from Vivian. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna ignore them and just walk on by. I'm gonna hit these trees. I might drop something good. Oop. These piranhas, man, are something else. Alright, that's a pale piranha. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, defense is 0. Try to jump on them with a bite. Rock-headed jerk, spikes, attacks two, defense is two, HP is two. If nothing seems to work, you could always just run. Um, I don't really want to do that. I'm going to try and hurt him. I think I should be able to hurt him with coops. And super guarding only seems to do the trick too. So I'm going to switch out to Bella. See if coops can do a little bit of damage. That would be a no. Whoops. Alright, so set these both to defend. Actually, I've got the, uh, I got the diamond star, so I could have done that. There we go. <clears throat> Honey, 
syrup. Don't really need it right now. Whoa, hey, that bald cloth was chasing me. Alright, let's try and take these guys out with Nerf Tremor. Why not? Nerf Tremor is not that bad of an attack. The trick is to press A as soon as the lights light up. Six. Now we get to see exactly how fast we can recharge. Whoa, <laughs> that was right in front of me. Fast uh, the um, <clears throat> the uh, star power recharges on stylish moves. If I can get it done right. Whoops. Sworn these trees could drop something. There in the distance, the great tree. <clears throat> we can't really get in there yet, but uh, Punio's going that way, so we're gonna head over there. And here we are, we've made it to the Great Tree, but the Great Tree seems to have a weird-looking door on it that we can't really do much about right now. Of course, the way the game works is we need Puny to tell us, Punio to tell us that. thinks he's got a plan to get inside the tree. There's basically a secret entrance up this way. He doesn't, doesn't think getting in will be very easy. And Punia has a fantastic idea. It's hidden by this invisible thing. We're removing it sounds tough, but we can call upon Madame Flurry to give us a hand. She's a wind spirit who lives in the woods blow anything away. So let's head that way and go see Madame Flurry. Meanwhile, at Flurry's house... <coughs> excuse me. Negative image of the real world soothes the body and soul. Feels the need for drama. Set to put on some makeup, yada yada. Hmm, she seems to be missing something. Wonder what that could be. Let's head towards Flurry's house. Punio tells us that it's this way. I'm gonna leave that coupon there. I have a full inventory right now. I might be able to use it later. I don't want it to disappear. Okay, so there's a bald cleft right there. Uh, well, that's not gonna help us yet. Whoops! Ah. I'm gonna swap out the Goombella so I can get a tattle on this cloud over here. It's a 
Dark Puff, basically a tiny new Thunderhead. Oh, you missed. Well, now I can't jump on him. That doesn't help matters. So we're gonna... I'm gonna... I'm just gonna heal Mario then. And I'm gonna have Umbella do an appeal. Okay, that happened. Shy guy, what you doing? Ow! That doesn't help. I think we should be able to power smash this cleft. Yep. Alright, so attacking that would be basically suicide right now, so I'm just gonna have her defend. Hey, we got a mushroom back. Bella's hitting uh, much harder now that she's got a power up. <coughs> All right, there is a secret over here. This brings us back here. This will get us to the secret switch back here and that'll raise the tree and we can also grab that star piece all right oh I didn't even know that was there that was an accident P down D up that actually up oh, that's for partners though that actually kind of helps I uh, might need one of those later uh, we're gonna, eventually we're gonna have to find and use a couple of those for regular for Mario P down D up. <coughs> this is, uh, this is much later though. You'll be pretty surprised when you see it. There is a Shine Sprite right here. We're gonna switch out to Coop so we can grab that. Missed. There we go. Definitely gonna need more of those. Another badge box. Quake Hammer. We're absolutely going to need that. Let's see if we can equip that right now. We cannot. We need one more upgrade, but that's going to come in super handy for us later. Just got a star piece out of the tree. Hmm. Nothing out of these, okay. And in the distance, we see Flurry's house. Let's check over here real quick. There's a healing box, we don't need it. <clears throat> and let's head over to say hi to Madame Flurry. it and she hears us she says no out of the question you must not come in here
is that she, she recognizes the sound of Pino's footsteps. It's been an age since they saw each other. Is there something you need? Pino tells her that uh, there's a problem uh, with the entry to the uh, with the door to the Great Tree, and we need her help. She says, uh, is, it all, is that all? You only came here for that? Well, she would do anything, but there's a bit of a problem. She cannot come out. She won't go anywhere without her favorite necklace. She dropped it in the woods, and she can't find it. And then Coops happens to remember that we passed somebody talking about a ne necklace. She says, find the necklace, and then she'll help us. <laughs> We tell her we can find it, so let's go out and grab that. Let's go back and get that necklace. Meanwhile, back at the plot, just turns out that Beldum had the sketch the whole time. And then they all realized that it was the Mario, that uh, Mario was the guy that came through and just passed them earlier. Beldum not wanting to take the blame passes the blame all on to Vivian. <coughs> They're gonna stay there and continue to have their squabble, so let's go and break it up. Enemies have respawned, so we got some uh, more chances to grab some star points. I'm gonna switch back to um, to Goombella. She's more helpful against these dark puffs. Missed. <laughs> We're gonna attack the one on the front. And have the Bella nail the one in the back. Whoops! Oh, messed that up. Now we kind of just need to wait this out. <laughs> uh, would have helped if I did a street sweet treat right there. All right. In fact, I'll do that right now. I'm going to use a sweet treat to uh, regain some flower points. Alright, seven flower points regained, that's pretty good. Alright, and that cloud is no more. Attacking out of order like that, so I can power smash the ball cleft here. Um. I think I'm gonna have Mario sweet treat again, so I can just make use of this turn. He's full on health, but uh, could still use some more flower points. Whoops! Alright, another five flower points back, that's cool. And we're gonna have her appeal. Hmm. 
11 points away from the next level up. So we'll be upgrading our badge points soon, which will be awesome. Alright, here we go. And zero damage. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. We can uh, power smash here. And we can do Kumbella's head bonk. And it's down. And we... Well, one more screen and then we'll run back into the Shadow Sirens. Well, soon actually should be. Oh, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> um, let's see. Alright, I'm gonna swap partner Coops and see if Coops' power shell can hit both of these at the same time. Nope. One more. Oh, nope, we gotta level up now, which is perfect because that's right before our fight with the Shadow Sirens. Excellent timing on that one. We're gonna upgrade our badge points. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna. Yeah, why not? We'll fight. We'll stand and fight. Get a few extra EXP here. <clears throat> I'm gonna sweet treat here so that we uh, we're up to full stats for the uh, the Shadow Sirens fight. Okay, that's we're back to full stats. Awesome. So we'll shell toss here. And we'll see if we can super guard this last hit. That's okay. Nope. <laughs> Alright. No big deal. 9 out of 10 ain't bad. Swap out. Actually, yeah. nope, we're another screen away. I seem to have misjudged that. Okay, we're gonna swap out, uh, swap Coops out for Goombella for the first turn tattle. And here they are. That's them, wait a minute. Mario, that's what you're supposed to mean, yada yada. I'm no quarrel with you, but you can't allow you to hunt for the Crystal Stars, so we need the map. How do you know about them? You've been talking to Peach. The real question is, who are you? Speaking names are often disappointed, but we are the three Shadow Beauties. Shadow Beauties. It's the Shadow Sirens! <laughs> I, see, I don't see three beauties, I see two, but then there's you and your plug ugly. <laughs> Alright. 
Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, the family squabble, woohoo. Alright, here we go. Alright, swap for Kumbella out front. We're gonna do this guy's gonna throw a can at us. Not today. Alright, we're gonna tattle. We'll start by tattling Vivian. <clears throat> Youngest of the three. Atta uh, HP's 10 attack is one defense is zero. Alright, we're gonna get a, ma a good hit in right off the bat. Six for each. All right. Ow. <laughs> Ow. All right. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to tattle uh, Marilyn and the middle there. Marilyn's HP is 12, attack is 2, defense is 0. Uh, we're going to power smash Vivian just to get her out of the way. Whoops! Ah, that's unfortunate. Now she's got another attack. Oh, nope, she's gone. <laughs> that's lucky. Ow! Ooh, that's not fun. All right, she's gonna. Uh, now we're gonna have Bubella tattle Feldum. Attack HP is nine. Attack is one. Defense is zero. But her Blizzard has attack of two. All right, what do I got on me? Uh, I got a Fire Flower on me, so let's use that to see if we can knock out Feldum and just leave Vivian uh, leave Marilyn up. Yes, we can. Alright, we're kind of hurting here, but that's not a problem. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm power going to power smash just to ensure that I bring her down. And a couple backflips for style. <laughs> and just like that, the Shadow Sirens are down and 30 star points. And look at that, we've got the necklace back. So let's head all the way back to see Madame Fleury. I've got a slot open, so now I'll take this honey syrup. Oh, I didn't have room for that. Um, I don't need the sleepy sheep, so we'll just toss that. Actually, um... I'll take a mushroom right now, so I can just make room for that sheep. I don't like leaving items behind, unless I have to, or unless they're worthless. <clears throat> so we're going to take this up again. And we're going to fly over this way. Strike this cloud first. Oh, and that's right, now that we have uh, more badge points, let's turn on some new badges. Um, we've got four, huh? Well, let's turn on our Quake Hammer, uh, and we'll turn on... We'll turn on that last stampede. Why not? Wow. 
<coughs> Madam Flurry, we're back and we have your necklace. <coughs> she tells us that to leave the necklace by the door. She simply can't come out. She can't be seen without it. And for whatever reason, the disco ball comes down just to announce her entrance. Mario is an area you, my heroic necklace hunter. True fine specimen of a man. Must thank you for your graciousness. If I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar, but she begs not to. Cutest little thing. <clears throat> she's asking if we're looking for the crystal stars. Uh, and she was telling us she's bored, she was looking for a challenge. So, she's swooned by Mario. Mario tracks danger, so Flurry says she's coming along with us whether she likes it or not. But we like it or not. <clears throat> and now Madame Flurry is here to help us. A primer to Madame Flurry. She can press X and she'll continuously exhale a huge gust of wind. She can also body slam in battle. Blowing these away with a gale of force. Alright, Madame Flurry is now with us. We're going to save. Alright. Alright, it's time we head to the tree. I'm just gonna kind of avoid those for now. Not entirely worth it at this point. Oh, we got an email. What did we get? Ah, oh, the premiere issue of RDM uh, today. <coughs> Rogue Power, outraged by high Pianta prices, Goomfree uh, suspected of violently shaking the Pianta Changer, <laughs> which is five years old. Causing the alarm to sound, which led to the changer ceasing to function for a brief period. The victim's quote is saying, I am a machine, no matter how hard I am shook, I feel no pain. <laughs> Pedalberg's uh, shop, you can't miss, the last 20 years. Nifty's shop, this is the line, yada 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 yada, you can only live once, uh, yada 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 yada, cooking for rookies, to make his fried shrooms, just uh, season some mushrooms and saute them up and they're ready. Alright, good to know. Alright, let's go right up to where Punio said that the secret entrance was, and we'll blow it away. And there it is! <clears throat> Punio will go inside and he says he'll open the door for us. Flurry used to be an actress, she was known as the diva, diva of the stage, uh, known as Madame Flurry the world over. Filthy air outside the spotlight repelled, and repelled her, so she came to the woods. Yada 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 yada. She will ever love the stage. She must feel the spotlight. Yada yada yada. And doors open. All right, time to enter. All right, we are finally inside the Great Tree. This is a good place to stop for now. Thank you for joining me today on the prologue and beginning of Chapter 2. Uh, when we come back next time, we're going to go through the Great Tree and find ourselves the second Crystal Star. 
Make sure you watch all the other, or check out all the other videos on the Grand Star Legion YouTube channel. And also check out the YouTube Rangers forums. And you can also find me on Chaos Control channel on Twitch. Be sure to follow me. And we'll see you guys next time in the next video. Take care, folks.